Hey guys, welcome to Data Tech, your one-stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. Today, we will covering a very interesting topic, which is how can one fine-tune a Falcon model using ChatGPT created data set. A gist of what we will do, we will take the base Falcon model, which is like a GPT model pre-trained on next word prediction. It's not fine-tuned on question answering data set or instruction or conversational kind of data. We'll just take the raw a base model and we will fine tune it on our task and for that task we will create a data set through chat gpt and uh, two more things the approach can be generalized to any open source llm and the approach can also be generalized to any other task or a combination of tasks if we have a combination of tasks we can create a data set which reflects those combination uh, or, or varied uh, question answers in the data set but in this example we will have a specific type of data set that we will create through chat gpt and end up fine tuning a base model to a highly uh, performing uh, fine tuned falcon model so let's get started so i will be uh, sharing the google collab notebook link in the description and also two more things thanks for your love and support in the last two videos where i have shown how to fine tune a falcon model on custom data set and also how to fine tune a llama 2 model on custom data set so in this video we will be seeing how can one fine tune uh, a falcon model on self created data set through chat gpt you can create a data set through chat gpt take the base falcon model and fine tune it or uh, you can take a falcon model 7 billion parameters or a smaller parameter model fine tune it on a data set created through uh, higher parameter model because the higher parameter model may give very good result for your task now we want that task specific goodness in a small parameters model also so we can fine tune a small parameter models on the data set created through uh, larger parameter model so uh, let's see how uh, we can do that in this notebook, we will fine tune a Falcon model on gold standard data set created through ChatGPT. First of all, I have given it the access to my uh, hard drive, Google Hype Drive, and then I have installed all the necessary libraries, Transformer, Accelerate, Peft library, Bits and Bytes, Enops, and Wand, which is Weights and Bices. Then um, I will show the example of my favorite data set, which is, which is Instacart data set. Here I have taken uh, the uh, just list of 500 top products it has many other products but i have just taken the 500 because i want to show you the idea how you can do that so these are the list of top 500 products the, you can see the length of the list is 500 now we will load the falcon model i have loaded the base falcon model so 7b sarded bf16 sarded means this model will be in multiple chunks sarded and bf16 means we are the model will be in 16 point floating uh, decimals and then once the model is loaded uh, what we will do is out of the 500 products that we have taken let's not use the first 300 why because that we will use for fine tuning that i will explain later but let's see the performance of base model on the next seven products uh, only next seven because inference is slow and i just want to show you the concept so let's see the performance on next seven products this is the list of first 300 products which we are skipping and uh, now let's see the uh, performance of next seven products now what do me i mean by performance what is my task in this task what i want is just i want three advantages and three disadvantages of this product so all the seven products first product second product third product and all the seven products list three advantages and three disadvantages of biotin 10000 mcg maximum strength when consumed or used similarly list three advantages three disadvantages of this product so every time the product will get replaced by that product name but the query or question is same that i want three advantages of using this product and three disadvantages maybe if i consume it in uh, excess amount or something so give me three advantages and three disadvantages now since this is a base model the performance of an uh, falcon instruct model would have been much better but i am not using that i have not taken the instruct model which is already fine-tuned on instruction or question answering data set i am taking the raw uh, base falcon model which is pre-trained on next word prediction so its performance definitely won't be very good so let's see the and also it won't know that i am expecting answer after this kind of symbol right which we will 
explain it in the fine tuning that whenever this symbol comes now the answer needs to be there so let's see what the base model gives uh, uh, so it gives the result for all the six there is no fine tuning and you can see that for the first it didn't give anything second it didn't give anything for the third one it's, it has given advantages disadvantages created by something random stuff random stuff because um, the base model is just predicting the next word it's not answering to a question which we can fine tune a base model to do to uh, to cater to a conversational kind of use case so it's just giving some random things right here it's giving some advantages as well disadvantages as well some of the disadvantages right this is an interesting case but overall not very good results now what we will do is we will save it in a file so that later after fine tuning we can compare the results now i will fine tune the data set created from chat gpt from chat gpt i had given the same query list three advantages and three disadvantages of chocolate sandwich when consumed or used and uh, this is my data set i have done it for 300 uh, products the first 300 products which we skipped that's why we skipped because we want to fine tune on those 300 uh, data points that will become our training data and remaining remaining uh, 200 uh, out of 500 will become our test or validation set but we will only do the inference for seven uh, products but that's the idea see you can see advantages disadvantage this is the data set which has been created through chat gpt so let me do one thing let me uh, show this data here the format is not very good let me show you how it actually looks like the, the data set that i have created through chat gpt this is how the data set looks like so chocolate sandwich cookies advantages one two three disadvantages one two three done all season salt advantages one two three disadvantages one two three let's see what are the disadvantages of salt high sodium content limited customization all season salt is a pre-mix seasoning blend so it may not cater to individual taste preference okay and quality variation the quality and taste of all season salt can be vary depending on the brand or manufacturers and so on so at three advantages three disadvantages similarly for uh, robust golden unsweetened or long tea advantages health benefit weight management mental alertness disadvantages caffeine sensitivity some individual may be sensitive to caffeine and may experience side effects perfect staining teeth limited availability and so on so for all the 300 products i have advantages one two three new line disadvantages one two three done for cut present potato stream and mess advantages one two three new line disadvantages one two three that's it so this is our data set which is clear now what we will do is we, we will train our base model uh, we will train our base model on this data set so this is the data set and also you can see that after this the model should expect the answer so that we will make it learn in the fine tuning so we will train on this data set so i have loaded all the uh, from the uh, using the peft library lora config peft model these are the uh, techniques which allows us to fine tune such huge 7 billion parameter model in just sing single google Colab notebook and these are the uh, these are the layers which we will add a adapter because lora adds adapters after the fine tune model is ready if you print it you can see these adapter layers and all so so next what i am doing is i will just uh, fine tune it for 25 steps my results may be okay but your results will improve if you can train it uh, for longer maybe 100 epochs 100 steps or something so uh, that is what uh, now I will, I will start my training and you can see clearly very beautifully the loss reduces over time and uh, in one of my last video people had concerned that for llama 2 the loss was not reducing i have found the error and which in my next video which i will be making on llama 2 i will show that there also the loss beautifully reduces so the, you can see clearly the loss is reducing here and uh, let's what we'll do next we'll do the inferencing using the fine tuned model so we have done the inferencing using the fine tuned model and uh, these are the results you can see that this is the product name and this is the answer we got next what i did was i just kept it in uh, side by side so side by side means this is the product what was the result from base model and what is the result after fine tuning and you can see the improvement so that improvement uh, let's see it in an excel so it's clearly visible and also you can see that new line advantages one two three new line disadvantages one two three whether it's coming in that way or not and also how the quality of result is so let's see the this result i have downloaded in, downloaded in excel 
so let's see that so these are the final results so this biotin 10000 mcg maximum strength list for the base model it didn't give anything just list three advantages didn't give anything for the second one it there also didn't give anything for third one it gives something but um, yeah here it's good one two three and uh, here it didn't give anything here it gave something uh, yeah but it gave many it gave how many five advantages and just one disadvantage but that is not we want after the fine tuning these are the results you can see list three advantages and disadvantages of let me so show it here uh, advantage is hair growth, skin and nail health, and energy metabolism, and then uh, uh, disadvantages toxicity, biotin, digestive issue, allergic reaction. Perfect. One new line and the answer. Similarly, let's see for the other cases. Uh, for government dog treat bones, advantage nutrition benefit, flavor and taste appeal, dental benefits. Uh, chewing on dog treats both help to promote healthy teeth. Okay. Disadvantages potential for gastrointestinal issue, allergic allergies and sensitivities, risk of choking for dogs. Similarly, for candy advantages one to three, disadvantages one to three. Uh, dry roasted uh, pistachios advantages, disadvantages for wild forest raw neem honey advantages disadvantages so it's beautiful just in the format we had fine tuned it on same format we are getting the final result after the fine tuning when we are trying to do the inference on the test set the next uh, seven products after the first 300 products we can see that clearly the output is as we expected it to so guys so this is the conclusion we can see post fine tuning the results are aligned as we wanted it to um, so basically in this video what we did we took the base model the raw, raw base falcon model fine tuned it on a data set which we very smartly created through chat gpt and we are seeing that final results are as good as chat gpt and just imagine chat gpt has a um, huge amount of parameters here we are just training is 7 million smaller uh, llm model and we are getting the results as similar to chat gpt because we have fine tuned on uh, chat GPT's data for that specific task. So this one of the trick that you can use if uh, you can use a smaller uh, uh, parameter model it will have lower cost inference will be faster and but you can bring the goodness of a larger model by fine tuning on that larger uh, models um, output that is you can create a data set through that larger out, larger parameter model and fine tune your smaller uh, LLM on that uh, data set. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates. Bye.